In previous videos, we used both the Fluke 79 FC and the IC thermal camera to realize how bad we were melting down our motor. And I noticed that the Fluke 279 FC has the ability to do reporting over Fluke Connect. And my initial thought on that was, I don't really shoot panels looking for a bad spot, so that's probably not a big deal. But I think a lot of you use this technology the same way I did in a reactionary fashion where we already had a motor melting down and we're like, is it actually too hot or is it not? So we should be taking some profiles of equipment when it's operating properly. That way we have something to compare it to when we feel it's operating improperly. So I'm going to take a few of our trainers and show you how we can use the reporting option in this. Here's one of our communications trainers, which actually does run some older equipment that could go bad at any moment. So I'm just going to pop this up and we're going to go ahead and hit the capture button and save. And then let's go and get a couple close ups here. So we're bringing it in a little closer. And because yeah, honestly, I don't know why these flex IOs are running quite as hot as they are, but we'll snap a picture of that and save. And what's cool about the 279 FC is while it is a thermal camera, we can also do our voltage checks on it. So I'm going to slide the cover off this PowerFlex 525. And we're on AC voltage. And if I check between here and here, we have 123.7. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And actually, while we're at it, we could also get the Hertz. Let's save on that. And then we have volts per hertz. I'll go ahead and save on that. We can also get our current DC value, 24.00. Now that gets the images captured all on to our meter. But here's where the Fluke Connect app can really be a good pull for long-term storage of some of these captures. As if I scan for new devices, then it's not going to show any. But we have this Fluke Wi-Fi signal here. And if I hit it, and then I scan for devices, then we're going to show the 279FC. I can click Connect, and it says it is connected. And one, you can get your live voltage right here. And there is a record button. So if I wanted to record, I could just hit the record. That's going to give me a graph of what's going on. I get hit the stop button. And then we could assign it to an asset right here on our phone. Now, the next thing is we have those screen captures that we've already done. And so if I switch this over to our thermal, that's going to switch over here to the thermal. And one, yeah, we can, we can actually see a graph of what's going on. Now, it's just leaning up against the trader right now. So there's nothing really to measure. But we can also download our saved images. So I'm going to hit the download button here. And that's going to bring in all five images. And then once they're all downloaded, it's going to ask you whether you want to go ahead and clear them off of the meter. And I am going to click yes to that. And so that gets you the pictures that we already took. Now, after that, we can create reports on our phone. We can also create reports on our computer, or we can just have those stored for a later time when we have an issue. So really key feature of this. And we have several videos talking about various Fluke meters and the Fluke Connect, where really we can, we can take our phone and turn it into a nice data logger. And here's a playlist with some of those videos.